15 percentage gets 85 percentage and above. You are getting into trouble because, well, you need to understand that the score that you scored previously does not define you. Because I feel that it might repeat again and I really don't want that to happen. Try your best for your PU2 board examination. A very big hello to my wonderful PU2 champions. I hope all my dear children are doing absolutely great. So, you know what? I recently came across a data which kind of made me sad and more than being sad, I was being worried. Because I feel that it might repeat again and I really don't want that to happen. So, data goes like this. It says that only 15% of the children, 1-5, Okay, only 15% of PU2 champions or PU2 students actually score 85 percentage and above. Only 15 percentage gets 85 percentage and above. Now, it's not about scoring 100, it's not even about scoring 90 percentage, it's about 85 percentage. Why do you think it's happening? Is it because we are not capable? Is it because we do not have the capacity? If at all you think that I am not capable, I do not have the capacity, I scored really bad in the previous examination, well, you need to understand that the score that you scored previously does not define you. You are more capable than you can imagine. It's just that we are um, unaware about our potential. We are hesitant to basically give a try. So, you know what? The actual trouble is we say that, okay, we do not have the potential. That is one very important thing. The second thing is that we say that only these many days are left, ma'am. Okay, now you are saying that I have potential. Now I believe also. But still, only 60 days are left, ma'am. How can I cover the entire syllabus within just 60 days? And in between that, I have my FA2, I have my pre-board, this and that, practicals, lot of things. But I'll tell you one very important thing and a very honest thing. That is, it's not about the time that you have. You are getting into trouble because you are procrastinating. You think that you are going to start from tomorrow and that tomorrow never comes. So there is a small thing I want to share with you guys and then I'll go ahead with the plan that I have for you guys. So it goes like this. So my father used to wake me up uh, when I used to go to school, okay? And I was too lazy to wake up so early. It used to be so cold out there. So it was so difficult to wake up early as, as kids, right? So he used to come in front of me and say that, Jasmine, you have got five minutes. So basically, it's a thing that I had to do with me. So five minutes, within that five minutes, either I could take a decision to wake up fresh and start off the day nice or probably I'll sleep five, for five more minutes and then, then that five becomes ten and that it might go on. You get it? So I had two choices and that's the only thing that he used to say. Every single day he used to come, whenever I didn't wake up, he used to say this, you have got five minutes to decide. So similarly, you also have got five minutes to decide. Are you ready to change everything that's there? You scored bad previously, it's okay. Are you ready to give it a try once more and try your best for your PU2 board examination? Your best should not be 100. It can be 90, it can be 80, it can be 70, but at least try, no. If at all you do not try, will you ever know? No, no. So basically, if you are ready, if at all you think that I make sense over here, you need to comment this down that I will start today. No, I will start now. Just after this video, you are going to use your time, whether it be 10 minutes, whether it's 20 minutes, whether it's 5 minutes to study something. And I'll tell you, this is going to make a huge change in your life. The less you procrastinate, you get more time for everything, for relaxation as well. So please do that. So most of the times we use mobile thinking that we are relaxing, but the back of the head we have a lot of things and we are like, oh my God, I have to finish that. Why to do that? You can enjoy your free time. You can spend your time on studies as well. And which is why I have a plan right over here. So in this video, we are going to discuss about few very important things. First thing, 60 days, I am going to divide it into two phases. Then we'll talk about the most important resources, also your daily study strategy and the mistakes that you should absolutely avoid in your PU2 preparation. 
Okay, so we'll start off with the 60 day two phases thing. So the first phase is from the month of December to Jan, phase one. This phase is purely for you to build your concepts nicely and make sure that you are solving the previous year questions. Okay, so concept understanding plus the previous year completion. I'm not saying all the papers should be completed, but at least, at least some should be done over here itself. I'll give you a plan for that. Now, phase two, which is going to be in the month of February, is for you to do mock test. To do mock test, to do revision, to focus on your answer presentation, because this is where most of you who study really, really well, who try really, really hard, lose your marks in. And I'll tell you how we can make it better with the help of the resources which are there. So in phase one, since we are focusing on concept understanding and PYQ completion, make sure if at all you think that you are not able to complete a chapter. There's a very big chapter, for example, I can talk about my subject. My subject is biology. I, for example, there is a chapter principles of inheritance and variation or molecular basis of inheritance. This is a very long chapter. I as a student took very long time to complete it. But now since I do not have that much amount of gap, what should I prefer to? I should probably refer to some one one shot video. I am not saying that you should not read your NCRT. Have your NCRT open, watch the one shot video, understand your concept and then come back see if at all you are missing out anything. So this NCRT is super important. NCRT is also super important but you should not be stuck there. If you are getting stuck there, what happens is that we try to push forward, we try to, we become lazy thinking that oh my god from three days I am completing just one chapter. So that should not be your target. Our target should be to use it smartly. If one shot is giving a better approach to my studies, let's watch a one shot. If NCRT reading alone can help me, let's read the NCRT. It depends upon you. Now, the very important thing that you need to do is solve the model question paper of 2025-26. Now, there are three model question papers given to you. And with my experience, I'm telling you, this year in the two marker section, I am seeing different types of questions which have not come the previous years. So please focus on those questions. There are there's a new trend being seen. Focus on that. And we have also putting the model question paper solution. Please watch those video if at all you think it helps. So physics has al already been published. Other subjects is also going to soon come. Make sure you watch them. OK, now the previous five years question paper have in your hand. So what is the best way is that basically once you study, once you study, the next thing that you should be focusing on is what solving the questions. Solve the question and that's how you revise. You need not focus on the 10 pager thing that you made, the notes that you made. That is of no use. That is going to waste a lot of your time. Rather, once you read a chapter, just make a one pager summary. I always tell that. Write down what's important and only important things are going to come over here in this particular page. This is going to help you. And then just start solving questions. Take questions. So when you take a chapter, it's not like in the model question paper, you'll get 10 questions for the chapter. No, it might be just two or three. So that does not take too much of your time. And then again, that's how your one model question paper is being done. So I guarantee you when I say that these things are something that you should do, it won't take too much of your time as you think it would. You are not solving all the model and question paper altogether. You are going chapter wise, right? So it is going to help you. And please refer to the question bank questions also if at all you have time. If you have time, you can refer to the question bank questions. But this is super important. Concept understanding and PYQ completion. If at all you're just focusing on concept, my dear children, you would not know how questions are being framed. And even though you know the concepts, you might not be able to answer because the questions are twisted and being put up in front of you. Cool? Now going ahead with phase two, you are, as I said, in the month of February, we are going to focus on this thing, right? Mock test, mock test as in, you have to give, since you have prepared the, uh, what do you call, PU2 portions completely now, within two months, right? Now you're going to give full length previous year paper with a timer. So the previous year paper question that you refer to, you can take the whole paper, put a timer of three hours and start solving it. Here, you need not write the entire thing, at least whatever is important, make sure you put it. And it is going to help you with the presentation of your answers as well. You'll get to understand how things are being put up. And my dear children, make sure you do NCRT re uh, reading and reverse mapping whenever you have time. So read your NCRT and frame your own questions. That is what I mean by reverse mapping. So you'll get to understand, okay, this is the question that could be framed and this is the answer that I have. Now all of it, I am pretty sure might seem that it's not doable from your end because you have so many things coming up. But as I said, please have some hope left. 
So do you, if, if everyone, I think, would be having this doubt, but will it be possible to complete the entire syllabus within this particular time, that is, what do you call December and Jan? Everything might seem difficult to you, but trust me on this, when you start off, the difficulty becomes, the difficulty level becomes so less. And there is a guarantee from our end that is something big is going to come. Stay tuned for that. You can keep guessing as well. It is going to help you really, really well. And it is strictly focused on you guys scoring 90% and above in your PU2 boards. So stay tuned for that. Until then, let's talk about the daily strategy that you should be following to complete the syllabus. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday is there and Sunday I have left. So over here, you have to focus on two subjects. Give two hours to two subjects. Suppose there is you come from school from five, at five o'clock and things like that. So six to eight, focus on physics. And then nine to 11, focus on chemistry. Okay, two, two hours in, in between that, you have a one hour break. Now, suppose you're feeling drained, wake up in the morning early, try to do some exercises. It will be really good for you. But as we all know, during exam time, we would have to spend a little more time into studies, which is why I pushed it until 11. But if at all you're not comfortable, make sure you sleep properly. And in the morning hour, you can give one hour. But if it continues, it will be really, really great. Now that goes for all the subjects. Now math and biology is there. So suppose you do not have biology, then you have a gap over here. So you can relax or probably take up some, something which was difficult for you in the previous day. Okay, the thing goes like this and on Sundays, my dear children, we will just have a look at the previous year paper and see how many questions have been completed. So whenever you take a chapter, you solve a question, put a tick mark into that and we will be able to analyze, okay, these many questions are being done. Try to do it again, just in your head at least, try to do it again, it will be good and then you can try a fresh paper, different paper. You have so many previous year question papers, right? So we can try for that also. Now, if we talk about the hourly division, so two hours for one subject is there, where 1.5 hours or one hour 30 minutes should be given to concept understanding. Because this is where I know that this is where it takes time. Now, 30 minutes at least you should be giving for the question practice. As I said, you can take questions from the model question paper, you can take questions from the previous year question papers as well. But this is super important. Cool? Now, again, you might be having this thought that actually will I be able to complete something. So let's do the calculation now, okay? So over here, physics are on one, two, three days. Now I'm assuming that in one day, suppose I am completing one chapter. I am assuming, okay? So suppose there is one easy chapter, one is medium weighted chapter, one high weighted chapter. So difficult, according to difficulty level, I have three, sub, three chapters and I've completed it. So there are four weeks, so three into four, I have completed 12 chapters, which is basically 13 chapters are there, right? So 12 chapters are completed. That means my syllabus is officially over. But I definitely understand that things does not work like that. It might not work like that. Yes, and I know it. You may not be able to complete the whole chapter in a day. So let's assume that two chapters are being completed in a week. These two days are given to the big chapter and one day is given to a small chapter. So two chapters are completed in a week, physics chapter. 2 into 4 weeks you have, 2 into 4 is what? 8 chapters. Your 8 chapters are done. So I am not asking you to complete the entire syllabus, but at least can you focus on the 8 chapters? We can, right? We are somehow completing something and it is going to help, be helpful for you. Now imagine the same happening with all the subjects. All the subjects. My dear children, you are moving ahead. You are definitely going to move ahead. So it's like the starting trouble that you have, and I totally understand that trouble, but don't, that, don't let that trouble sink in your brain and say that you are not able, going to do anything, you are, not able to, you are not going to score good or things like that. You will be absolutely able to do good, if at all you do it consistently. So every single day I have to sit with this, I know it is going to be boring. I know it is going to be boring, but if at all you complete, you are going to feel relaxed, much more relaxed. You will have much more time. You will do revision whenever you want, not because I have to do it. You get it? So please make sure you're utilizing this time very nicely. There are so many videos on YouTube which says that you should be studying, 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 but it all depends on you, whether you are going to actually put it into action. If at all you think that I am making sense over here, 
first thing subscribe to the channel because as i said something big is gonna come and we are going to give you all the resources which is super important for you to score good we will be there to help you guys but you are the first person to help yourself and make sure you do that so with that our target okay our target should be to complete this 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 chapters these are the super important all of them are high weighted chapters but if at all you think that it's taking a toll you are mentally getting down because you have a lot to study then you can pull some low weighted chapters as well but just for your reference i am telling you these are the high weighted chapter of all these subjects for chemistry for physics for biology and for mathematics now depending upon your flow you can pick up the chapters but every day 2 hours for each subject you have to give consistently okay i sh i hope and i pray that you do that and also ending up this video with the mistakes you should be definitely avoiding first thing referring multiple reference books and ignoring your ncrt please do not do that okay you do not have time to refer to multiple books out there now it depends on subject to subject certain subject requires reference book you can for subject like biology you do not need reference book it's just your ncrt so even for chemistry you can refer to your ncrt so look for the subject and then only go ahead if you keep on referring to multiple reference book just because your other friends are doing so don't do that it might waste your time you know how you study you know your pattern okay and only theory no question practice this is one of the biggest mistake and even i did it when i was in school which is why i'm telling you again and again always that is smart way this is hard work when you do only theory you are wo working hard you are understanding to and trying to understand the concepts but my dear children when you put question practice in front of you what happens is that basically your concepts are even more getting stronger because now you know that how many type how much type of different different questions could be framed from this and third thing making unpractical notes this is where most of our time goes we try to make that nice fancy notes please do not do that as i said watch the video pause it in the one page summary write whatever is important go ahead with the next thing that's all that would be enough you are making your brain store things you rely on your brain not on the paper if you rely on the paper you will forget things okay and always no revision in a 3 days gap that's a big problem so always revise within a 3 days gap so whatever i have studied over here okay where is it whatever i have studied on this day on the third day whether whatever subject it is maths or whatever it is i have to use 10 minutes of my time for revising what i have studied 3 days before now this revision can be done in your school bus wherever you whenever you have them that little time out there but please revise this makes this uh, makes everything stay little fresh in your brain because i you i hope you guys know that there are so many things to be covered so it might not be easy for your brain as well to store a lot of information so this is what you need to do and with this i am ending the video i just have one thing to tell again and that is you are capable never have that self doubt in yourselves and my dear children wishing you all the best do not forget to hit the subscribe button right now take care